Well, hey everybody, uh, welcome to the channel, and for people who are returning, welcome back. Uh, for the new people, welcome to Larry's House of Hockey. Finally getting back into this, uh, you know, had to, actually had a little uh, little time before, you know, having to go pick up the kid from school. Uh, back into my, my memorable, my memorable series uh, playlist here. And, uh, you know, some of them are like the most memorable. Some of them are, you know, like some of my favorites. There's some that are in this, that are in this rundown where there's like two series in a particular year that were both phenomenal. Where, where, you know, where it was, it was at least more than one series that was, that was absolutely phenomenal. And trying, you know, and once I get to those particular years, Trying to figure out which one to do is going to be interesting. But this one that I did today, this is 1982. This is the 1982 Smythe Division semifinals between the Los Angeles Kings and the Edmonton Oilers. This was a very memorable series for sure. Now, this was only a best of five. I'm glad this was only a best of five because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, trying to cram all this, I'm glad it was not a best of seven because, man, oh, man, oh, man. And it's mainly because of this first game. But uh, the Kings. Now, this was when the they took the top four teams in each division. You had one versus four, two versus three in each division. Now, the records here. Oofta. The LA Kings, yes, the LA Kings made the playoffs with a record of 24, 41, and 15. They, had, they played 80 game seasons. 24, 41, and 15 for 63 points. The Kings made the playoffs with that. They're going against a young up and coming team that is about to start a that's within just a couple of years the start of their own dynasty but they're not quite there yet but the Edmonton Oilers 80 games 48 wins 17 losses 15 ties 111 points there is a 48 point difference between these two teams 48 points Unreal. So you're thinking coming into this, they're like, yeah, Kings ain't got a chance. They're they're just there's no there's no way the Kings are are gonna have a, a, a chance in hell in this series. But as as the great Chris Berman says, that's why they play the games. So let's start off here. Game one. Game one, there were 18 goals scored. 18. So, LA wins game one. They win game one 10 to 8. They start out, Edmonton starts out fantastic in the first period. They, they open the scoring at 135 of the first. It's Glenn Anderson from Kevin Lowe and Yari Curry. So, that, start, that makes it one to nothing right out the gate. And you're thinking, oh, here they come. Here come the Oilers. They're going to, they're just. Going to roll right through. Not so much. Then it's six minutes. It is it is Bozek from Fox and Evans on the power play to tie the game at one apiece. Then, 16 seconds after that, it is Rolston from Hughes to make it 2-1 to one in favor of Edmonton. Then, 20 seconds after that, at 6.36, it is Siltonen. From from Anderson and Gretzky. So it's now 3-1 Edmonton. Then, at 9.02, on the power play, it's Siltonen, again, from Gretzky and Curry. So that's 4-1 in favor of Edmonton. Then, at 14.09, to kind of draw a little bit closer, it's Fox from Lewis... At 14.09 to make it 
four to two in favor of the Oilers. Then in 1953, on the power play, to close the gap even to close the, to close the gap within one, it is Dave Taylor from Charlie Simmer at 1953 on the power play. So it's four to three after the first period. Going into the second period. 311 at, at, at three minutes and 11 seconds it is Smith unassisted for LA to tie the game at four then on the power play at 917 it is Marcel Dion from Taylor and Murphy so it's now 5-4 Los Angeles then 1330 shorthanded it's Charlie Huddy unassisted to make it 5-5. Five, five. Then, at just like 40, what was it, 47 seconds later, on the power play, still, still on the power play, it's Dion from Taylor and Evans. So it's 6-5 to five in favor of the LA Kings. Then, at 15 minutes, it is Evans from Smith and Hopkins. It's now 7-5 to five Los Angeles. That's then, then to make it 7-6, to six, it is Lumley from Gretzky and Lariv, Lar, Lariver, I think. If I'm butchering his name, if I'm butchering the name, I apologize. But uh, they score at 17-22. It's 7-6. to six. Then, with... Under a minute to go. It is Evans from Bonar and Lewis. Yeah, Bon. Yeah, Bonar. I had, to, I had to look at that too to make sure that it wasn't spelled or pronounced like, you know, <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> I think you guys know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's Evans from Bonar and Lewis at 1936. It is eight to six. LA after two periods so we go into the third and we actually we don't get any scoring until until the the, uh, the 10 minute and 20 second mark it is Gretzky from Anderson and Curry so it's now 8-7 in favor of LA then 12-10 of the third period it's Hagman from Messier and Siltonen 8-7 Eight. You're thinking, holy cow, you know, could Edmonton still come back and steal this after, you know, being ahead and losing the lead? No, well, not quite. The game winner, the game winning goal is scored at 1456 of the third period. It is Simmer from Taylor and Dion makes it nine to eight. And then 1908 of the third period scoring into the empty net. It is Bernie Nichols from Fox, 10 to 8. Los Angeles wins game one, 10 to 8. Wow. Yeah, 80, 80s hockey? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 80s hockey was definitely on display in this series. So LA goes up one game to nothing. So game two, we come into game two, and the Oilers tie up the series. They tie this one up in overtime. Edmonton again. They come out. They come out early in the first period. One fifty-five of the first period. Uh, Hughes from Hunter and Fogelin to give the Oilers a one nothing lead. It's the only goal. It's the only goal of the first period. Then we get into the second period, and at five thirty-three, it is Nichols from Simmer and Wells to tie the game at one apiece. Then, at thirteen oh seven of the uh, second period, uh, Evans scores to make it two to one LA. Then in, in the third, then into the third period, and this one went a while going into the third. It's at fifteen oh six. It is Curry from Huddy and Gretzky to tie the game at two, and this game's going to overtime. And at six twenty of the overtime period. Who else? Wayne Gretzky from Charlie Huddy and Lumley, LA or, or Edmonton 
ties the series at three to two. And one thing I forgot after the first game here, going going back to the first game here, uh, goal the goaltenders, uh, Mario Lassard was the goalie for the LA Kings. He went he stopped twenty five of thirty three, and had a seven fifty eight save percentage in game one. Grant Fior went 25 of 34 with a 735 save percentage. The power plays, LA went 3 for 9, Edmonton went 1 for 7. Game 2, as we've gone through that now, Lassard stopped 43 of 46, a 935 save percentage for the game. Grant Fior stopped 33 of 35 for a 943 save percentage. Really good. L.A. went 0 for 7 on the power play. Edmonton went 0 for 5. Now we get to a very interesting game here. I didn't even I didn't I I didn't even try to try to figure out the the whole power play thing because oh yeah there was there was a lot of uh, yeah there was there was some fighting and a lot of 10 minute misconducts and. And yeah, I was I was like I'm not even gonna try to count the power plays because holy mackerel, there was like there was like 40 penalties in the game. It was nuts. So game three, game three starts. This is the this is the memorable one. This is the one that everybody remembers. Game three, LA wins this game six to five in overtime. We start out game three. 10.39 of the first period, it is Messier from Anderson, gives the Oilers a 1-0 lead. Edmonton has scored first in each game. So three straight games, Edmonton has scored first. Then, shorthanded, at 19.23, it is Gretzky from, it is Gretzky unassisted to make it 2-0. So then we go into the we go into the second period, and right away in the second period, 43 seconds into the second period, Edmonton makes it three to nothing. It is Foglin from Gretzky and Lowe. Then 5:15, Edmonton makes it four to nothing. It is Siltonen from Gretzky at 5:15, and then on the power play at 14:02, it is Gretzky. From Anderson and Greg. Five nothing after the second period. Game's over, right? Not so much. Let us uh, let us go into what becomes the miracle on Manchester. Two forty six of the third period. It is Wells from Dion and Murphy. It's five to one. Then five fifty eight on the power play. It is Smith. From Harry and Bonar to make it five to two. Then fourteen thirty-eight of the third. It is Simmer from Hopkins five three. Then at fifteen fifty-nine, it is Hardy from Bozek and Murphy five four. And then on the power play. Five seconds left, and this was one of the more this was one of the more memorable ones because I believe this was the one that you know where was it that one the top the I'm trying to remember where they had the big celebration. I think that well no that might have been the overtime one. I think that was the overtime one. But 1955, five seconds left in the third period on the power play. It is Bozek from Hardy and Dion ties the game at five. The Kings were down 5 nothing after the second period. They storm all the way back to force overtime. And in the overtime, 235, 233 of the overtime, it is Evans from Smith. L.A. comes all the way back, performing the miracle on Manchester, winning 6-5 in overtime to take game three amazing amazing still to this day one of the most talked about games uh you know 
from both sides, it could be you know, one of the more memorable choke jobs. But what a comeback from the from LA in that one after the second period. Amazing. So we get into game four. LA is up two games to one now in the series, thanks to the miracle on Manchester. So we get into game four. Edmonton, they claw back. They win three to two in game four. We start off on the power play. Now this one, LA actually scores first in this game. So we're into the fourth, we're into the fourth game, and the team that scores first doesn't end up winning. <laughs> but uh, LA scores first in this one. It's Dion from Evans at 527 on the power play. LA is up one nothing. Then at 1018 of the first. The Oilers answer back. It is Curry from Gretzky and Fuhr. Grant Fuhr actually gets a goal there. Or gets a gets an assist there. It's one to one. Oh. I keep I keep forgetting to do I keep forgetting this. The say the, the goalies in game three. Fuhr, Grant Fuhr stopped 46 of 52 for an 885 save percentage. Mario Lassard, 31 of 36 for an 861 save percentage. Oof. <laughs> Oof, Maron. So that was that's the that's the goalie stats in game three. Back to back to game four. Going into the second period, tied at one. At eleven forty, to give Edmonton the lead back, it is Hughes from Boschman and Lowe. So it's two to one Edmonton. Then at fourteen forty four to make it three to one Oilers. It is Glenn Anderson from Curry and Greg. It's three to one after the second period. And then into the third period at 8.44, to kind of draw it a little closer. It is Murphy from Evans and Larry Murphy at 8.44 to make it three to two, but that's as close as they get. The, the Kings drop game four, three to two. And in this one, Grant Fuhrer stopped 23 of 25. A 920 save percentage. And then Lassard stopped 18 of 21 for an 850. See, I was right so small, it's kind of hard to read sometimes. Eight, I think it's an 857 save percentage. 857 or 67, one of the two. The power plays. LA went 1 for 8. Edmonton went 0 for 8. So power plays are not, you know, the the you know. Power play proficiency isn't really, isn't really isn't really here, but uh, the Oilers have tied the series, so we're going into the we're going into the decisive game five because at this time, the first rounds were best of fives. So we go into game five, and this is where the the upset the 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 uh, one of the one of the one of the more lopsided upsets happen. Game is starting starting out at what is that three three twenty two of the first. It's Simmer from Lewis, LA up one to nothing. Then at six twenty, it's Simmer again from Hopkins and Wells, two to nothing LA coming out coming out the gate. But then Edmonton they claw back. 7.59 on the power play. It is Gretzky from Anderson and Curry. That makes it 2-1. to one. Then on the power play again, 15.53. It's Evans unassisted to give the, to give the two-goal lead back to L.A. It's 3-1. to one. Then on the power play again, at 19.26, it's Paul Coffey from Siltonen and Messier. It's 3-2. to two. So... Edmonton, they're 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 down. You know, they're down going, they're down three to two going in, you know, going into the second period. We get into the second period, and LA gets that two-goal lead back. At 109, it is Dion from Evans and Lassard. So that's four to two for the LA Kings. Then at 649, it's Bernie Nichols from Fox. Five to two in favor of LA. And then at 1555, it's Bonar from Chartra and Simmer. Yeah. <laughs> so 
15:55 the second period it is 6 to 2 Los Angeles this is now this is in this is in Edmonton's building in game 5 so it's 6 to 2 after two periods then we go into the third at 306 it's just L -L LA just keeps kind of piling on here at 306 it's Bonar from Taylor and Lewis 7 to 2 in favor of the LA Kings Edmonton, they try to claw back. At 551, it's Unger unassisted to make it 7 to 3. And then at 1424, this is as close as they get. Lumley scores from Paul Coffey to make it 7 to 4. They try to come back. It's it just it does it doesn't happen. Lassard stopped 40 of 44 for a 909 save percentage. Grant Fuhrer went 24 of 31, a 774 save percentage. LA went one for four on the power play. The Oilers went two for five. And one of them, and that is one of the biggest upsets. It's got to be one of the bigger upsets point-wise. Because, I mean, that's a 48-point difference. And yeah, LA, LA, you know, I mean, this and this was the neat thing. You know, because because people today, if if people today saw this record and said, "How the hell did they make the playoffs?" That's how it was then. We'll get as as we get later on in this playlist, you'll see you'll see another team with a record that makes the playoffs, and you're like, at where today people would people would just be they they'd be losing their minds. That's they'd be losing their minds at some of these records that get in the playoffs. But uh, but yeah. The 63-point LA Kings beat the 111-point Edmonton Oilers in the 1982 Smythe Division semifinal. Game three, of course, the miracle on Manchester. Amazing. Amazing. Just, you know, I mean, what 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 can you say? Just an unbelievable, unbelievable series. And uh, you know. You just, you can't, just, just because you've got a, a phenomenal record, you know, doesn't, you can have a great regular season, come playoff time, anybody's ball game. Let me know what you guys think of the, uh, the 1982 Smythe Division semifinal. Let me know what you guys think. Do any of you guys, do a lot of you remember it? Or some of you maybe a little too young? To uh, have been around when this series happened, I know I was only like five. I think I was only like five when this series happened. But uh, but I mean, you can go back. I mean, it's probably on YouTube. You can go back, see highlights of the game. Just incredible, an incredible series. And uh, you know, good for the LA Kings. They knock out the Edmonton Oilers and move on to the Smythe Division Final. And uh, and yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think. Please like the video. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. It would be so awesome. Uh, also, please subscribe to the channel. That would also be very awesome of you. And, uh, you know, if you, you know, if you'd like to share this video or, you know, maybe even my, the ninth, my 1981 memorable series, go ahead and do that. You want to share any Jersey unboxings, go ahead and share them with friends, family, you know, whoever, whoever you'd like. And, uh, you know, you know, and especially if you've, if you've got friends, you know, you could, you can go and say, you know, yeah, you know, there's this cool, there's this cool hockey channel on YouTube. You can check it out. You know, if you want to do that, go right ahead and do that. That would be awesome. And, uh, and yeah, so 1982 Smythe Division semifinal, the miracle on Manchester. See y'all later.